I want to take a moment and show you the tools and materials that we'll need to mount our deer today. First of all, we're just going to start off with what we call a Dremel tool. I'll use that to cut some slots in the lip. Now what we need to do is rebuild the tissue and uh, replace the bone that's been removed from the top of the skull plate. I just want to caution you when you're rebuilding this area, you don't want to... Now the only thing we really need to do to our hide at this stage is we've got to get our ears prepared uh, to go on our mannequin. Now, you know when we were fleshing our deer out and tanning it, we had to turn our ears... But what I'm doing is I'm leveling that pupil with the marks that I have here on the mannequin. And now the only tissue that we actually have to rebuild around this eye is just a very, very small section around the upper and lower eyelid. Now we're ready to go ahead and start sliding the hide over the mannequin. And again, just take your time. I'm trying to be very careful not to get any hide paste on my fur. I'm actually going to use some pins to kind of hold this skin in place. Okay, now I'm almost to the end of my Y, my first Y here. And I'm going to show you how I tie this off. I'm going to go ahead and put one more stitch back on each side here. But once I've taxied the skin around and kind of gotten things lined up, I'll go ahead and start with tucking the skin around the glass eye. Now on this side, I just really want to try to mimic exactly what we have on the opposite side, just again making sure I've got that clay feathered into the mannequin real well. And I'm going to take the brown and I'm just going to put a light little coating right underneath the eye, right where the eyelid, you can see a little bit of uh, dermis has kind of come off and it's a little white is exposed and also right in the tear duct area. 